Hi, my name is Tiffany. I'm with Service Star Realty, and today we're going to be talking about who's responsible for what when your tenant breaks their lease. According to the Arizona law, landlords are permitted to charge the tenants for two months of rent as a penalty for breaking their lease. This is good news for you because you should be able to find a new tenant to rent the property without any of those issues in those two months, but you still have the hassle and the expense of finding a new tenant, marketing the property, and turning it over. Another thing to remember is that the law does not permit you to charge double rent. So as soon as the new tenant moves in, you need to prorate the rent and refund the old tenant any prepaid rent they may have paid. When your tenant notifies you that they will be leaving the property before the end of the lease term, send them a letter outlining your legal right to collect rent up until the day the new tenant moves in. Your tenant will likely not want to continue paying rent until the property is leased again, so you need to work directly with them to make sure something is worked out. The security deposit often does not cover all the rent, utilities, full service landscape service for the interim time frame. You'll want to get the property re-rented as soon as possible. We like to work with our tenants so that we can meet the goal and allow them to leave without owing us any additional money. Our goal is to have them work with us and show the property to the new prospects. We ask them to pay for advertising fee and the leasing fee, and we also require them to keep the property clean while they help us show it. Tenants who are moving out usually agree to this. They know that if they don't, they will be responsible for paying their rent, utilities, and other housekeeping costs until a new tenant is moving in. It usually takes us about two weeks to find a new tenant, so the process works smoothly. The current tenant is responsible for some of the turnover costs as well because as a landlord, you would not have to pay for such items if the tenant had fulfilled their lease. No landlord likes this situation. However, you want to have a good relationship with a tenant who is moving out and you want to keep communication open. If you get into a raging conflict about the broken lease, you run the risk of having the tenant move out immediately, leaving you on your own to re-rent out the property. Or you'll have a bitter and angry tenant who damages or vandalizes your property on the way out. Work with your tenants to find a resolution everyone can live with. If you have any questions about how to handle a tenant breaking your lease, please contact us at Service Star Realty. We would happily serve as your Phoenix property management resource.